Hi, I'm Melissa Shannon and today I'm going to show you how to make a photo book using Snapfish's web interface. Go to snapfish.com.au, log in and you'll see this screen. The first thing we need to do to create a photo book is to upload some photos. You click on the Upload Photos link on the right hand side. You can create a new album for your photos. And then, because we want to have a very high quality photo book, we need to choose the large print upload. This will allow us to have a photo book where we have a photo that takes up the entire page. Now we click on Select Photos and browse to the folder which contains the photos we want to use. Click on the first photo you want to select and then shift click on the last photo. Then click open. You can repeat this process by clicking on the Select More photo. Um, you can repeat this process by clicking on the Select More button. Then you can add another photo or as many photos as you like. There are a couple of different views. The carousel shows you which photo is being currently uploaded. The standard view also gives you the same information. While you are here, you can choose to share your photos or add these to your cart as prints. Now that the process is complete, you can, you can um, view and edit the photos share the album, upload more photos, or just order them as prints. Now we don't want to do any of those options, so we'll just click Close. I'm going to go to Projects, Start a New Project, scroll down to Photo Books. You can uh, choose a custom cover book. So the first thing we need to do is get photos, choose the album with the photos we want to use, and I'm just going to click add all to add them all to my book, then click done. I'm going to choose to autofill, so Snapfish will automatically put all the photos I've uploaded into my album.
to change the layout of the cover, I just click on this Covers tab and I'm going to click and drag the pink dotted cover on there. Now I can add text to the front cover. by clicking on the text box and then typing away and I can even change the font if I like anytime I want to change the text I just mouse over where the text is and click edit I press the right arrow to go to the first page. I can change the background for any page by clicking on the designs tab and then dragging different designs on. As you can see it's already placed the photos in and all I need to do is add some captions if there's any problems with the photos you'll see this warning come up I'm going to delete that photo and choose another one instead Now this photo has cut off Emily's head so I'm just going to click on edit and then move the photo down so that we can see her whole expression. Now there's a problem with this photo here it needs to be rotated so I just click on the photo and click on this rotate right button and then you can see that the photo is rotated again it's saying this is low resolution if that happens to you it's usually because the the photo has not been uploaded in its full resolution or they've had to be rotated so in this case I'm going to drag a horizontal photo onto this spot and it shouldn't have the same problem as you can see this is an easy way to start off your photo book when you've finished editing the photos, just click save. I'd suggest saving your work regularly so that if something happens to the internet connection or your computer, you don't lose your work. I'm just going to show you how to edit the layouts of your, al your album. You can choose from a lot of different designs based on the number of photos. For example, this one, this one. Some of them give you space for text, some don't. So you can play around until you're happy with the final result. If you want to change the way, um, add a page to photo book, just go to the pages menu and then click to add one page on the left, one page on the right, 
or to insert two pages. Now you can just choose more photos to add to these new pages. I can click on this little icon to view all my pages. And as you can see, it's inserted all my pages. A 76 page book. At the moment, this will cost me just over $90 to print. Once you're ready, you can order your photo book. Click on Add to Cart and then you go through the ordering process. If you decide you don't want to order, just empty your cart. At any time you can click on the Projects tab to get back to previous projects you've made. Snapfish.com.au has very affordable rates for postage and handling.